Hello, this is Lazyboard, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is actually a pretty exciting one, guys. We got some information for Outriders. We got some information on what we could expect coming from the world of Outriders, and if we're actually going to be getting anything new. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the future of Outriders. As you guys may know, and you have caught any of my live streams or any of my videos, I have always been optimistic about trying to make this game as good as it possibly could be. One of the biggest issues we had going into the game was one of the statements that the developers said. They said that they weren't gonna be promising any sort of DLC or any sort of content coming at any time of the future. It was all gonna be dependent on the reception that the game got at launch. Today we get information about what the reception was and if we're actually gonna be getting any sort of DLC. So let's start off with the reception and talk about the stuff that we wanna know as players what exactly has been going on in the world of Outriders for the first month of launch. So this is what they put out on Twitter. They said, we are excited to reveal that we surpassed 3.5 million unique players in our first month after launch. That means 3.5 plus million players have actually launched Outriders, have been able to not only buy a copy of Outriders, but also get access to it through the Game Pass. Now, I think the Game Pass had a huge viable role on this. I think the numbers would have been a little bit lower if they would have not been released on the Game Pass. But I think the Game Pass actually boosted this a lot higher and gave that 3.5 million plus players. So I am excited to know that the game actually started off with a very good thing. I think one of the biggest things that actually led to these numbers was definitely the demo. The demo put a very high state for the game. And I think a lot of people felt like the game was going to be solid and stent to its uh, fruition. Apart from any of the bugs and apart of any of the whole mitigation thing, 3.5 million players, that is a lot of players, guys. And I am excited that it actually reached that high. But now let's go ahead on what else happened. So they said out of all the hours played by everybody, it's over 120 million hours played. That is a ton of hours, a ton of hours. And we're gonna actually going to see the other number after this one. But 120 million hours, guys, that is a lot of hours. I think from those 120 million, I have com contributed to a lot of them, like probably like 400 or 500. So very, very crazy. Uh, next time they say it, that there is 31 hours played by the average player so that means everybody every everybody of that 3.5 million players the average time of that was 31 hours now that's kind of crazy because i wasn't expecting that to be that high that's actually a very very high number 3.31 hours that's a that's a lot that's a lot of hours i was expecting it to be like around 25 or 24 but 31 hours that means people played their character they also grinded expeditions and they even did a little bit more content a little bit more looting 31 hours that is crazy 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 good the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the actual most played classes so we have the trickster at 27.9 pyromancer at 26.3 technomancer at 23.9 and devastator at 21.9 i could say that devastator 21.9 i contribute to about five percent of you guys switching your classes and going with the devastator because i, I don't know why the devastator is so low boys I, I i guess people just don't know how to play it i, I don't know but i mean i did expect the trickster to be number one uh, I did expect the uh, Technomancer to come in third and the Pyromancer. Uh, so those numbers are pretty good, but I was expecting my Debbie to be at least three. I wasn't expecting my Debbie to be four. Come on, boys. What's wrong with you? Come on. Come on, boys. You got to come to the Debbie side, man. Come on now. Even though the trick is pretty OP, though, but I mean, come on. The De Debbie? Come on, man. Bro. We all manage everybody that comes in the lobby. Come on now. All right. So next up, we're going to go with most used abilities per class. So for the Devastator, we got Gravity Leap. I can That makes sense. A lot of people do use Gravity. I was kind of expecting Earthquake to be the number one here because, you know, you get three Earthquakes, bam, 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 bam. But Gravity Leap is number one. For the Pyromancer, we have Ash Blast. Ash Blast is actually a very powerful and potent one. I do see that one being there. We also have the uh, Technomancer Crowd Turret. That makes sense. And for the tricks of the Slow Trap, the Slow Trap. Are you kidding me, boy? Come on now, man. How many tricksters do you have you played with that actually use slow trap? I think maybe because it was used a lot when the game started. That's one of the first abilities you get. But slow trap being number one here, come on now. That that's kind of that's kind of that that is really crazy. So let's go. Most used abilities overall, and by everybody, slow trap, which is crazy, right? The slow. I, I I didn't think slow trap was that important. How come you people? How okay, tricksters out there, brother. If you're a trickster main. How come you all using slow trap and don't use it when you play, man? Come on. I want to know. Give me some info. We need to find out. All right. So moving on, guys. We have a 1.6 quadrillion total damage. That is a lot of damage that's been output. 
mostly that damage has been uh i don't know how many how much damage that's been towards us or how much damage has been to the enemy but that is a lot of damage next up guys we have 9.2 billion per four kills forever in our hearts i'm telling you, man that man be dying but i want to know i want to know how many kills do the perfora have because if we've killed them 9.2 billion how many kills do they actually have that's that's the real question because that's what we really want to know especially with the whole mitigation next up guys we have 20 billion total kills so that means we killed 20 billion plus people in the lobby i want to actually know um who is the least killed person is it uh is it the uh you know the guy from the island storm who would be i want to know there's some there's some numbers here that i, I would like to know then we have most popular legendary weapons we have the dead shield of course if you guys want to know how to farm the dead shield i have a video on that you guys are definitely going to want to check that out if you haven't checked out the dead shield one the one to farm out the dead shield i have a video for that now that we know the file uh the funeral fiery is the number one weapon in the game not the, in the number one weapon but the second most viewed or most wanted weapon in the game yo expect a uh, video on how to farm it asap coming your way by tomorrow so that should be a fire right there just like the funeral fire next up guys we have 1.9 trillion scrap collected 457 billion titanium pieces collected that is a lot of collecting boys that's a lot of dismantling a lot of picking up so yeah we, we've done a lot of damage when it comes to dismantling items dismantling weapons so that's a lot of scrap and most hours invested by one player guys check this out 700 and 97 hours now i have a couple questions for this person and this person's out there if you're out there man and you're watching this video come in and let me know i want to know a couple things number one do you have a dead shield? number two do you have a seismic helmet number three do you have a card chess piece number four do you have a, a yugaki cow come on we got we got so much questions to ask this man man do you have all the legendaries which do you have all of the 99.4 i want to know there is a lot of information we need to gather from this individual so if he wants to show up and, and let us know who he be i would be greatly appreciated so that's pretty awesome so now the question is asked okay legend that sounds pretty dope i mean you know that's a lot of people playing how many people are currently playing right now right that's that's the real question and should people even consider coming back that have probably left well here is the answer we've all been waiting for and like if you've seen any of my live streams i said this before guys that i do expect some sort of announcement at e3 some sort of announcement not like uh you know we're gonna this is the roadmap but i do expect something up to be said about outriders in e3 and i'm hoping and crossing my fingers that's some sort of dlc or some expansion but that's just wishful hoping but this is what we have from them that they confirm that we are going to be seeing some future content coming our way to end all the stats they were showing they said thank you to all the players on all platforms we are continuing to listen carefully and want to assure you all that we are committed to improving and keyword here enhancing your experience throughout the coming weeks and months we are also looking forward to expanding outrider in the future so that means expect a expansion coming our way or some sort of dlc coming our way and i like i said be listening very carefully guys e3 might be that time where we get some information on a brand new dlc a brand new expansion coming this year so make sure you guys stay tuned to this channel because this is where you'll hear it first if there is a dlc announced so make sure you keep it locked here thank you guys for watching i do hope you guys are enjoying our outriders coverage we're not giving up on outriders guys we're still hanging in there so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel and turn on those notifications thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video.